right, welcome back into the jam on the U. Two wheels, one back to back, and a whole lot of ambition. That's what it took for cyclist Carrie Gross to trek it across America for a new project called Women Who Dare. Now, Carrie spent the summer and fall biking across the country and collecting stories of women, of inspiring women, for a new podcast. During her stop in Chicago, she sat down with our Danielle Robey to talk about what she learned during her 5,700 mile journey. Take a look. Okay, Carrie, women who dare, how did this start? So I was living in Indiana and trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And I read the back of a cliff bar before I got in the pool for a workout. And then the cliff bar talks about this guy and all of his friends um, having all these adventures. And I was just wondering, where are these stories for women? Women who dare started and that's what I'm doing. You decided to bike across the country from San Francisco to Maine, where you're from, and then tell us what you're doing along the way. Along the way, I'm interviewing women who've been suggested to me as being inspirational. And that inspiration could come from anything. Women who are entrepreneurs, women who are doing really awesome athletic feats, women who are just inspiring those people around them living maybe an ordinary life. When you're in these cities, you're biking the whole time. So where do you sleep? So it's a combination of camping um, in national forest lands. I stay with friends and family when I can. And there's also this awesome community called Warm Showers, which is like couch surfing, but for bike travelers. You get to have a conversation and a shower and some laundry. And it's amazing. Has there been a common through line from the women that you've spoken to? Yeah, I think finding a team is one of them. Another one is trusting your gut. If you have a little fire, just like stoke that fire and go with the things that build that fire. And then the final most important thing is learning how to say no. What have you learned most about yourself through this experience? I've had to wrestle with uh, uncertainty. You know, every day or every week, you're not really sure how far you're gonna make it. And then also knowing that I have a support team in my family I have a tendency when things get hard or when I think it's going to be hard, I just drive through. Instead of sharing the uncomfortable feelings I'm having with someone else and having them help me along, um, I feel like that's a lesson these women have learned. But I hope they take some sort of inspiration into their own lives and not to walk any of the paths of these women, but to walk their own path. She's a long haul trucker. All right, you can check Carrie's, check out Carrie's website, carriegross.com, for more info on her trip. And her podcast, full of inspiring stories, is slated to launch later this fall.